Hello, happy solstice and other related holidays, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to do a, um, I hope everyone's well, and we have a new year coming up. Looking forward. Uh, today I've got a weird, one of my weird geometry things. Uh, thanks to Cliff Pickover from Twitter. It's about uh, the area of a sphere, right? And we know that the area of a sphere is 4 pi r. And, uh, okay, so this is my solution is we have a sphere. What I've done is taken the sphere and cut it into four circles. And you'll say, what? That doesn't look like a circle. But I'm going to say to you that this is right there. This was 360 degrees. So that means this is 120 degrees, right? And that works. Ooh, uh, uh, 120. Anyways, that's 120 degrees. 120 degrees, 120 degrees, right? And over there too. And over there too. And over there too. Cutting this ball the sphere into four pieces, four even pieces. One, two, three, four, right? So, and we know that these, that's 120 degrees, right? And that's 120 degrees. That's 120 degrees. So it doesn't look like a sphere, but if you just sort of took it and those were hinges instead and you squished it, right, so that it would cover exactly that space, all of it, it would flatten down to cover that, right? So, boop, and you flatten it. And you go, well, that's cheating. You're making it bigger. I'm saying, like, no, I'm not making it bigger. I'm just getting rid of the curviness. Because that curviness adds, you know, fractal dimension quality. So this is how a sphere is. One, two, three, four circles. Cool, huh? Just thought of that wacky world. Peace.